Hi, I'm Alan Montague. I've been a professional painter for a little over 30 years, and I'm going to show you today in your little free art lesson how to apply glaze. You can use uh, a gloss varnish, you can use a satin varnish, but today I'm using a gloss varnish, and there are two techniques that I've found over the years that work well for me. I take a little spritz bottle. Uh, if you get the kit, it comes with it. I'm going to lightly mist, not wet, but just lightly mist, right over the painting that I've already got finished and dried. The important thing is to make sure it's good and dry. This is my varnish. I'm using gloss today. You can put a little bit on your palette, and I'm using a one inch brush, a primer brush, and you can do X's on this to apply it. Just be sure you apply it pretty even. The reason for the water is that it mixes with the emulsion and gives you a nice smooth look. If you get bubbles, just lightly brush them in. The other way that I do it, if you're really wanting to get through quickly, is I put a little thin drop and do kind of a loop. After you've done it a while, you'll know kind of how to use and whatever. And just put this on just like this, making sure I've got pretty much what I need. And then this way, you can just take that same and just get your pattern going. Make sure you get all your areas that you've put your droplets of glaze on. Now occasionally, I think I'm running this fairly smooth, I don't think I've got a problem, but occasionally you may want to have the light in front of you or to the side and lift up your canvas slightly just to be sure you don't have any dry patches that you haven't covered with your glaze. And I don't know whether you can tell on camera or not, but the colors that were in this painting before I primed it with the glaze are so vivid. They've gone from dull jewel tones to very, very sharp bright, rich. And basically what this is, this emulsion pretty much goes into the paint, rehydrates it so that the whole painting stays nice and smooth and vibrant and rich for the life of the painting. It also allows you at some point in time when you want to clean your painting to go back I'm going to add just a touch more right on this side to go back with a moist cloth and lightly wipe over your painting. This will take all the dirt off since this is acrylic underneath and the glaze is acrylic to keep this painting looking fresh, bright, and new for years. Done the whole painting in short order. That's all you have to do, just brush it through. Don't do it too long till it starts to get tacky because then it'll kind of cloud up. If you do it just like I showed you, you'll be extremely happy with the results. Thank you for letting me work with you today. Take care.